yesterday, I asked you, what should I do for the 500th episode of Yai? Here are all 500 of your answers. Apologize, apologize, apologize 500 times, ah! No. <laughs> nude yai, nude yai, nude yai, nude yai. Yes. Let Erin host it, or at least have a segment hosted by her. Me? Oh. Yesterday, and five years ago, I asked you, what is love in just four words? Here are your best answers. Donating $4,000 to e-girls. Um, Even though that's not four words. OnlyFans, but for free. Depression, with a partner. Simping, but both ways. Friend zoned in quarantine. Again, two homies just docking. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure I want to know what that means either. Oh, you do. Definitely Google it after this. Don't know. Don't care. Can we do it a little faster? Yeah. Don't know. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like afraid of poking myself in the face. What a, what a rational fear. Stockholm Syndrome, but consensual. Oh, Garfield, John moaned. Oh, Luigi, Peach cried. No! Laughing over violent encounters. Who are you? Should I send somebody? Kissing with masks on. Sleeping in separate beds, which, by the way, for sure. Gamers can't find it. Kinda true though. When pain briefly stops, which is actually quite sweet if you think about it. Endless soups and salads. I too love the Olive Garden. Losers, obsessing very emotionally, said the, what do they call it when a guy who like doesn't, he like hates females. Uh, incel? Yeah. Mm. Wait, can I say that? Temporary feelings between people. Are you all right? Help, step bro, I'm stuck. You're disgusting. What You're disgusting. Yeah. Wendy Olsen is disgusting. Mm -hmm. What kind of, you know, Pornhub videos is she watching? <laughs> the good stuff. Now back to things I should do for Yai 500. Pull an old yeller on dogs. I'm sorry, ladies, but daddy needs views. Take 500 shots whilst reading Yai answers. Oh, so we're counting them now? A drinking game. What a marvel idea. Welcome to the first ever official Yai drinking game and uh, what a cast we have. With me today is the Uniballer, Eric of Comment Etiquette. We have Ooh. Nerd City and we have Brock TikTok Baker. Welcome boys. Wait, do we all have to drink now? Here's how the drinking game will work. I will introduce a Yai question first, for example, what song do you want played at your funeral? Or just one of those open-ended guy questions. Mm. We will then go around one by one, reading aloud pre-selected answers submitted from Twitter and YouTube. And this continues with new questions and new answers. If the reader laughs or breaks, they must take a drink. And I may change the rules later so that if anyone laughs or breaks, then everyone drinks. Hey, feel free to play along at home. First question. What's the last thing you'd want to hear from a doctor? Ooh, spicy. So Brock, are you ready? I am very ready, Jack. Here we go. Ew. Will you marry me? So we successfully attached the tail. Is that, is it me? Oh, that's you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. It's terminal, love, XOXO, nail spoon, nail spoon, two weeks till you're canceled, princesses and eyeballs. Harder. Damn, bro, that prostate looking gay. Want to hear my music? The Avengers come to visit you. I know I should not fall in love with a patient. You look sick. You should probably see a doctor. So far, so good. This was good. None of those were funny. None of those were funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just laughed. I'm going to officially uh, notch up the, uh, the rules here so that if anyone laughs or breaks, then we all take a drink. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. All right. So J Jack, the meta game here is not really laughing. It's allowing your fan base to cancel us. That's accurate. Question number two. What's your signature go-to catchphrase? Imagine your life's a sitcom and your character comes bursting through the door. What's that classic thing you say that the studio <laughs> audience loves? Fucky wucky, let's get lucky. Explain that liberals. Forgive me, I have a mental illness. Misa Misa has joined the room. 
I blew it on the Jar Jar. Oh, uh, finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> it's getting a little dry in here. There are only one person I'd simp, and his name is Jesus H. Christ. Don't worry, son. You can still see me on the weekends. Sup, Amalio, and we a wife. As a white person? <laughs> <laughs> Just walk into the room. <laughs> As a white person. <laughs> well, Jesse, looks like we're going to have to Breaking Bad. Jingle jongle, now that's a bazongle. Rub me, daddy-o. I put the broth in brothel. Well, sis, if it ain't incest, I don't want, I don't want to invest. Oof. That was, uh, that was the mouthful that my eyes got me, though. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> now back to things I should do for Yai 500, charge people $10 to watch it. I thought about it. Nothing, Jack. This is not a milestone. It's a number of videos. Get your head out of the clouds. Hi, Dad. Can you turn it into a wacky game show? What an oddly specific request. On my Twitch channel, I run a game called Are You Funnier Than a YouTuber? where myself and a couple other randos answer Yai questions. The Twitch audience then votes on their favorite answer, and whoever receives the fewest votes gets kicked from the game. We repeat until there's just one player left. It's very unpredictable because sometimes I win, very often I lose, and sometimes I even lose on the first round. It's chaos, check it out. How do you sleep at night with two pillows between my thick cheeks? Horizontally, and with lots of NyQuil. Cuddled up to my Klondike plush toy dropping next month, with a smile on my face, thinking about my dad. I don't. The voices, they won't stop. It's been years. I don't sleep. I've been playing Animal Crossing 24-7, with the vibrating butt plug in <laughs> keeping calm. Cuddling with my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> Very fuzzy wuzzy. Ooh, ooh. Unfortunately, the Klondike plush toy, that one was from Erica the Suckup. Describe Twitter in just four words. Horny sands, simp Harry. Mostly bots or simps. Carol killed her husband. Who we canceling, boys? Too many K-pop fan cams. Retweet my memes, simps. Simp iDubs betrayed us? Simp iDubs <laughs> betrayed us. Was by Liam. Retweet my memes, simps. Is the loser. It's Kayoya. What's the fastest way to get 1 million subscribers? on YouTube. Tase dead rats and fake challenges. Summoning my dead girlfriend's spirit, she forgave me. Cool warning. Pander to children by getting drunk at Walmart at 2 a.m. challenge? Marry Tana Mojo. Admit your depression and anxiety. Copy a big YouTuber's material and claim it's yours. Upload garbage TikTok compilations advertising your garbage stolen meme merch. The loser, I hate to say it, it's pups. You are not funnier than a YouTuber, but you are a great mod. Why should the viewers vote for you? Vote for me, and I'll pressure Jack into making good content. I want Jack to fucking lose and to admit he's five feet tall. Because I'm not Jack Film, fuck that guy. Because I have Aaron's phone number, and I'll leak it if you don't. JK, cops called cheating. I'm the Snowden of Are You Funnier Than a YouTuber. The person with the fewest votes was... I'm leaving. Do you know why? Because why? I am the Snowden and people, <laughs> people can't handle the truth. What is your hangover cure? Um, I keep drinking because I'm not a scrub. Bad question. Fried foreskin. Just keep drinking until you die. Wee! ASMR, Aaron telling me stories. Um, I keep drinking because I'm not a scrub. Bad question. Uh, that was mine. Thank you very much. And the person going home with the fried foreskin. Liam, I'm so Liam. very sorry, Liam. The penultimate question. What tattoo do you really want? A cat from cats with their butthole showing from the butthole cut of cats. A tattoo of Jack's reaction when I beat him in this game. The frame by frame of the here kitty kitty video by Joe Exotic on my back. A cat from cat's butthole blah blah blah. That one was mine. Thank you very very much. Luke Aaron. You tried so hard and got, got so, so far. far. But in the end. This is the final question. Do 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 do. What person slash thing would you bring back from the dead? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Carol's husband. All the past players funnier than Jack. Julie Rihanna. Let me tell you. You are 
Not funnier than a YouTuber. I'm so very sorry. You got very, very close. Back to things I should do for Yai 500. Personally, read all of these answers. Uh, sex the dogs, I, and there it goes. I, 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 I can't read this. Oh, that's offensive. Make a compilation of the best answer for the past 499 Yai's. I do believe it was this exact tweet that led me to make precisely what you asked for. But to fill some time, I would love to share with you my top 10 favorite Yai answers ever. What's the coolest thing to say while walking away from an explosion? I blew up your house. Tee hee hee. <laughs> what is the absolute worst thing you could say after sex? Well, you still got it, dad. <laughs> what is the absolute worst thing you could say on a first date? I brought my son to watch. <laughs> Make me cringe in four words. I do fedora tricks. <laughs> What is your signature catchphrase? <laughs> John Movies is mentally ill and should be executed. <laughs> what video game describes your sex life? World of Goo. <laughs> what are some alternatives for the phrase grinds my gears? That really censor. Um, that really censor. That really censors my hentai. <laughs> to please not Photoshop this beautiful sacred wedding photo. Thanks so much for giving us br brother and sister tattoos. <laughs> no one asked for this. You're all sick. In just four words, what does every man or woman want to hear during sex? <laughs> Misa Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Come up with new abbreviations and acronyms. This genius turned Finna Nut into an acronym. Frick. I need nutting immediately. Now, uh, thanks dad. <laughs> Back to things I should do for Yai 500. I don't know, whatever you want. Well, one thing I'd like to do is a terrible quiz show. Buckle up. Another thing I do on Twitch is Yai Live, where hundreds of people answer the same Yai question live, but they're also voting on each other's answers in real time. Which means eventually, some answers rise up, gamers. Then I show you guys the top four answers, according to you, and everyone on Twitch votes on a winner. So I'm gonna show you guys the top four answers to a question. Can you guess which one got the most votes? We'll start with this one. Fill in the blank. A group of gamers is called a blank. The top four answers were an odor, an oppressed minority, a gamer guild, or a neckbeard. Which do you think got the most votes? And that's right, an oppressed minority. Now, if you didn't get that one right, don't worry, I'll be back with more questions. Do fix bios, please. Oh, I was hoping you'd ask me that. Welcome back to Fix Your Bios, the show that proves nobody knows how to write a proper Twitter bio. <laughs> Let's go. I put zero effort into making, so it is really bad. Already hate it. Let's see. I am not a vegan. Deal with it. You're right. This one sucks real bad. So let me try to de it for you. Hell yeah, I'm vegan. Very enormous, girthy, and naked. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Fixed your bio, free of charge. Jeff, you want me to fix NASA's bio. I mean, it's NASA. It's probably something pretty epic, right? Explore the universe and discover our home planet with NASA. We usually post in blah, blah, blah. Jesus, I'm bored. NASA, you gotta drum up the excitement a little bit cause you're NASA. Let me do your job for you. How about Clapping those alien cheeks since 58. Come on, NASA, we know you got like terabytes of alien porn. Release it. Fix Garfield's bio. Bet you can't. Ah, Garfield, how is that terminally ill cat doing? Lasagna enthusiast, anti-Mondays, napping influencer. Nickelodeon's official Garfield Twitter? What? I don't even know what that sentence means. I'm gonna ignore that and just try to fix it anyways with a cringy rap. I'm a whole beast, I'm obese, give me mo cheese. Yo ho, please, I'm lonely, please hold me. I miss OD, he died in 03. That's why he hates Mondays so much, because that was the day he watched his friend die. Zoe needs a little fixin' and oh, cute, look at that, it's a little big con pick. Let's see your bio, Zoe. A moment you'll never remember, and a night you'll never forget. Wow, I hate it. How do you fix that? Let me try something a little more interesting. Nickelodeon's official Garfield Twitter. You're welcome. Ah, PC Master Race. Just avoid updating it during a thunderstorm. <laughs> the official Twitter of the PC Master Race were both the biggest and the fastest growing PC enthusiast community in the world. Okay, my turn. PCs are epic for gaming. 
But Raid Shadow Legends is unlike any game you've ever played. Use our code for 40,000 gamer gems. That was easy. My bio is mysterious and cool and cannot be fixed, but try your best. Not off to a great start. So we have an acronym that reads OKMNSGM. -OK I googled it, doesn't mean anything, but I think I can decipher it. Okay, my next sexpedition? Gru's minions. Fix your minions. Do it, bitch boy. Well, only because you asked so nicely. 18 weeb. Nah, man, we're fixing that to legal weeb. Enjoy. Had this since 2015? Well, then it's time for a tune-up, wouldn't you say? Oh, it's a little shrugging guy in ASCII art. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update it so that now he's wearing a little mask to protect him from all the Rona. And now that I'm looking at it, he he just looks like a pig. I'm sorry, I fixed nothing. Fix Amazon's bio. Ah, very hot topic right now. Let's take a gander. Official Twitter account of Amazon. Very straightforward. Zero charm. Seems about right. I'm gonna have to change this one to official Garfield account of Nickelodeon. <laughs> Finally, I received multiple pleas from you guys to fix a Bagel Gabe's Twitter bio. And indeed, Bagel Gabe has been asking for a fix for quite some time. Now I checked out your YouTube channel and it looks like you do a lot of Lego stop motion type vids. But what I'm more curious about is your Patreon. What are you selling? So for just $1 a month, you'll put my name at the end of your videos? Hmm. For $5 a month, I get occasional access to early videos, including Lego SpongeBob Halloweens? Who do I make the checkout to? And for $10 a month, you'll actually say my name at the end of your videos? <sighs> okay, Bagel Gabe, I think I know exactly how to fix your bio. And for $20, I'll scream your name on camera while carving it into my arm. Plus director's commentary on all Lego SpongeBob Halloweens. We'll add a couple more Patreon links and uh, yeah, that is the perfect bio. Don't forget me, Bagel Gabe, when you make your first billion. Let Erin out, she's been begging to leave. I have been. No. Yesterday, somebody that you've never heard of asked you for your best Roses Are Red poems. Here are some of the acceptable answers. Roses are red. We know about his crimes. Aaron, if you need help, blink three times. Wait, well, I'm sorry, that's a mistake. I don't know what this one is doing in here. I, okay, all right, honey, keep going. You're doing great. Roses are red. You are a liar. How did you put your name in the government of fire? Roses are red. I prefer my eggs scrambled. My favorite song from The Lion King is Mufasa getting trampled. And honestly, I also agree because that movie is garbage. Roses are red. This is a scam. Oh, my queen throws money at webcam. Roses are red. There are 500 guys. Yet this overused prompt makes me want to die. And sir, you are not alone. Roses are red. Daisies are white. Sorry, honey. Not tonight. <laughs> Roses are red. Life has no meaning. The voices in my head are constantly screaming. You know, I feel like we need to be doing a bunch of wellness checks on these people. Roses are red. Simping is fine. I give Jack permission to sell his body online. Though oh, you said it, she said I, it, she said it. I will say that like nobody will be buying that. <laughs> Roses are red. We've been home for weeks. Nobody liked Rampage, but I want to clap the rock's cheeks. What? I don't even know what Rampage is. Like, what is <laughs> Rampage? <laughs> it was a blockbuster movie. It came out a few years ago. Guys, mm -mm. it's obviously not that blockbustery of a movie because I've never heard of it. Roses are red. I am a zoomer. To offend old people, say Karen or Boomer. Am I old? Uh-uh. <laughs> Did this just get real? Roses are red. I don't like doing dishes. I'd use my wish to wish for more wishes. I mean, who wouldn't? I feel like you're stating the obvious, but also genius. No, honey, genies. <laughs> the next question, and Eric, you will uh, kick us off with this one. Yeah, you guys like my new background? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how happy he is. What movie title describes your sex life? 12 Angry Men. Get out. Fast and Furious. Sister Act. Happy Feet. 
Tomb Raider. Sorry. Solo? Fantastic beasts. Where to find them? Damn it. They got me. Doing a shot of tequila for that one. Me, Earl, and the dying girl. Not without my daughter. <laughs> I got him. That's a great one. That is a fantastic <laughs> submission. Ah, uh, fuck. That's... <laughs> What a wonderful poster as well. Yeah, it really it's is. really good. The poster oh adds God. so much. Garfield's Fun Fest. Stop or my mom will shoot. Five feet apart. There will be blood. Daddy's home. Knives out. Kicking and screaming. Secret life of pets. Sleeping beauty. Flubber. Super bad. All Our right. Fun Fest is not a real movie. I just want to put that on the record. Oh, did you just look it up? Uh, no, I know my Garfield. I didn't have to look it up. What is the worst thing to say on a first date? Worst thing to say on a first date. Wow, look how big you've gotten. Oh, I'm glad to be your daddy waity for tonight. Ooh. <laughs> Can we pray? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's always funny. I'm a registered sex offender. Sorry, lady, but the Nerf tactical suit stays on during sex. This is the first time I've went on a date since the incident. Going bazinga mode. You'd better not be a fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You'd better not be a fake gamer girl like the last one. Dad? Son? <laughs> Do you want to listen to my podcast on the way home? Yikes, baby. Oh, one out of whack pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me try that again. Yikes, baby, you're one out of whack pussycat. Hey there, Gam Gam. Sorry about the tail. <laughs> Is this everybody's first Reddit video? <laughs> I've never done this. Uh, I was coming in here thinking I'd win, but now I know I'm going to lose. Oh, well, there's no, Eric, there's no win or lose. There's no win or lose. No, I like it. I get off on losing. Win. It gets me all off. What does PETA actually stand for? Please eat this ass. Please eat the animals. Please excuse Tommy's ass. People eating those asses. <laughs> People eating Tim's ass. Porn, except there's amiibos. Picture everyone taxidermying animals. That answer was not written by me. It was not written by Dry Itchy Scalp. It was written by Simp Police. The person who wrote people eating those asses is Mellow Cat 5. I'm sorry. What's the big fad in the year 2120? Klondike hazmat suits. Holographic porn. Furries are still ostracized. Contracting a plague challenge. Fursuit renaissance. Everyone will be wearing fursuits. Holographic porn. That was from Soggy Peanut Butter. Congratulations, Soggy Peanut Butter. The loser, Michelle. I'm so sorry, Michelle. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are dope. Married to Jack's films? That's a big nope. I'm touching kids, just like the Pope. If you revive Michelle, I'll give you some coke. That's a slang word for drugs, which are not cool to joke about, Jack. I just want to touch Jack's films' earlobes. In first place, simp police. There's a tie for last place. This has never happened before. Wait, what is it? I... Final death round for them. We are going to do a sudden death round. It is Cinderella with the shotgun versus soggy peanut butter. What is your TED talk on why there needs to be a Shrek 5. Why Fortnite funnies will be an essential source of income in the next 10 years. Fortnite funnies, that one was written by Soggy Peanut Butter, which means Cinderella with the shotgun, you just got shotgunned. What is the most risque slash scandalous thing you've done today? Saw a naked dog, played a random guy's game at midnight, showered naked, shook hands unprotected. So I'm in the bottom two with Soggy Peanut Butter. The loser of this round is Soggy Peanut Butter. Aww. What's your Tinder profile say? Not here for fuckboys or Fortnite funnies. The Birkenstocks stay on during sex. Taller than Jack, funnier than Aaron, sexier than Shrek. Can you come up to the mic and say what your answer was? No, the mic can come to me. <laughs> and my answer was not here for fuckboys. <laughs> nor Fortnite funnies because I'm not. Honey, would you like to pick the final question? Yes. What is the last text you sent? Babe, come on, it's a medical condition. I gotta keep them on. Honey, lube up the foxtail. I'm almost home. Ooh, ooh. purrs and pre comes. Simp police, you are funnier than a YouTuber. God damn it. <laughs> Quiz time. I asked people on Twitch, what does MAGA actually stand for? And the top four answers were, make all gamers apologize. Make a good acronym. 
Monday and Garfield, am I right? Or Moms Against Gamer Athletes? Now, which of these four do you think got the most votes? I need your verbal confirmation. And that's right, it is Make All Gamers Apologize, although I quite liked the Moms Against Gamer Athletes one. At any rate, I'll be back with more questions real frickin' soon. What cool new acronyms are those kids texting each other nowadays? Those, those new LOLs and OMGs, what are the kids texting? CKS, COVID kinda slaps. KMLM, kiss me like a Mario. ITAS, I'ma take a slow fee. The fuck does that mean? The slow motion selfie, you know that really cool feature that iPhones have that everyone uses every day? That uh, definitely sounds like a 20 minute shit where you get a blowjob. <laughs> 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 Numb. Not until marriage, bro. B-T-G-C. Disregard the Geneva Convention. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids love doing that. <laughs> I-D-E-K. I did Epstein's killing. I knew it. O-G-O-T. Only gay on Tuesdays. D-L-F. Dad left fast. S-M-S-C-N. Send me some Corona nudes. S-A-D. Spankin' Dash. S-I-P. Sister is pregnant. C-H-A-D. Christian honks against dabbing. H-T-H-I-A-P. He turns himself into a pickle. What's the fastest way to lose your friends? Losing your vegan superpowers? Become a Scientologist? Tell them you are a Jax Films fab? Don't play Animal Crossing? Pissing on the moon? Coming out as a Fortnite streamer? Tell them your name? Pussy Slayer 69 spamming K-pop fan cams. The winning answer was spamming K-pop fan cams. I wrote that one. <laughs> Honey, which answer was yours? Become a Scientologist. That's right, and that was in second place, baby. Last place was don't play Animal Crossing. Maybe Ethan, you are not funnier than a YouTuber Ethan. or a YouTuber's wife. You are now president of the United States. What's your first order of business? My first order of business is eating that damn Sonic the Hedgehog. Eliminate Bunny Day. Hire the simp police. Lock them all up. Just end America already. Cancel everything on Twitter. Release the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. Declaring Fortnite funnies legal again. Um, I was eating that damn Sonic. I'm sorry, I just couldn't Bullshit. help myself. I couldn't help myself. Everybody stop getting duped. I hate to say this. Release the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League was from James the Sheriff Dixon. If your pet could talk, what would he or she say? Fapping again? Stop feeding me lasagna. I'm deathly obese. Where are my balls? Every snack you make, every meal you bake, every bite you take, I'll be watching you. I hate Mondays and I love lasagna. I eat John, it's what I do. Oh my God, someone's at the door. Call the fire department, 911, all the hospitals and the Daily Mail. Dry Edgy Scalp was, in fact, the Daily Mail, obviously. I love the Daily Mail. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. And uh, in last place was me. God damn it. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, I actually liked that. I thought that was Thank a, you. I thought that was probably I better. thought it was a good one. What's your band name? Loaded Diaper. 999 megabytes. We don't have a gig yet. Gamers with Attitude. Three dicks on a bench. Sky Eggs in Paradise. Three dicks on a bench. Dr. Eggman. Congratulations, Dr. Eggman. Honey, do you have any thoughts on Sky Eggs in Paradise? What's Jimmy, up? Jimmy Buffett is <laughs> so underrated. I don't think people got it. Sky eggs. I fucking hated this question. <laughs> oh no. It was stupid. I said it from the get go. That's a bad question. What stresses you out competing against Aaron? Socks and Birkenstocks. Aaron losing. Or Zipper T Bunny's cold dead soul piercing eyes. In last place, competing against Aaron. Pussy Slayer. Oh no. You hate to see it. You have a cloning machine. How do you use it? Clone a bunch of myself for max pissing power. Open hundreds of OnlyFans accounts and watch the money roll in. Clone Jack's screen screen so it covers the bottom right corner. Unfortunately, the loser, the OnlyFans one, Dungeon Master, Masta, get out. Here is your final question. Finish the poem. Roses are red, violets are neat. I must capture Sonic to study his feet. Jack's chest hair should be much more discreet. <laughs> the winner 
of Are You Funnier Than a YouTuber is Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman has doctored the game. Quiz time. I asked people on Twitch, what big feature will the next smartphone have? And the top four answers were, it moans when you plug it in, it screams when it falls, built-in divorce counseling for my parents, or a hammer, ha ha wee. Which answer got the most votes? I'll let you think about it. Stop thinking, the correct answer is it screams when it falls, and I was shocked that the moaning one didn't win. Oh well, I'll be back with more questions soon. All right, lads, uh, moving on to question number, don't remember the order. Clickbait the following sentence. I gave a homeless person a dollar. So how would a scummy YouTuber take this very boring, mundane sentence and turn it into a very clickbaity YouTube video title? I gave a homeless person a dollar. I am ending poverty. I redeemed my crimes? More money than he's ever seen. Emotional. I'm a saint now? My apology, proof that I'm a good person. I broke social distancing to end world hunger? Scary. Giving a homeless person a dollar so he can buy a Travis Scott Fortnite skin? Changing someone's life? Emotional. I got mugged by my ex? World peace. I gave a homeless person laundered money. Okay, was that tricky. was a bad one. That was a bad one. Edit that out. Hey, Starbucks has a new drink this season. It's blank. COVID slushy, pumpkin spiced sneeze, coronacation, only for the spring breakers. Daddy's milk, grande distancing, phlegm latte delight. In sixth place was me, I lost. God damn it, I lost in the first round. I lost in the first fucking round. That's never happened before. Fix Apple's Twitter bio. We're better than Android, trust us. Steve is dead. Microsoft, but worse. Innovation never costed so much. Eat our products so you don't have to go to the doctors ever again. Obviously, Steve is dead one. <laughs> yeah, it's your boy Foot. <laughs> of course it's your boy Foot. We're better than Android, trust us. That was Calgore's answer. Calgore, thank you so much for playing my merry little game. Hey, what is your signature catchphrase? Stanky. Fringle frongle. Where's the dongle? Uh-oh, I accidentally did a Fortnite funny. We got Jack out on the first round. You're funnier than a YouTuber foot, but you're not the funniest in the group. I will have to eliminate you. What does simp stand for? Shrek is my princess. Smurfs incite massive propaganda. Super impulsive mom period shrek is my princess was the clear winner and that was from elias morals good job elias in third place though jake oh no jake what four words get you all riled up foot got out earlier hyper furry nostril vor and the winner is elias morals well done well done Elias, how do you get ready for a first date? I make sure to send them the Zoom link an hour in advance. I poke holes in all my condoms. Step one, set the table. Step two, light the candles. Step three, get the body pillow. Put on my special birthday suit and get a nice speaker and get All Star on with my body pillow. Unbolt the basement door to free them for 20 minutes. The winner goes to Queen Amanda. The answer with the fewest votes Altanium YouTube, rest in pepperonis. A group of YouTubers is called a what? A clickbait, an employment office, a miscarriage, PewDiePie wannabes. Queen Amanda said unemployment office. And the person who is leaving this game forever, Baker. Baker, I'm so sorry, bud. What's your worst compliment? You're getting second dessert? That's so brave. Your old nose looked better. I could see you as an influencer. That one was from MRD Shorts. The person going home, Queen Amanda. No yas queen for you tonight. <laughs> we have one question left. What is your best icebreaker? Hi, I'm the guy that beat Jack. Hi, I'm Jack's Films. Wait, no, come back. MRD Shorts, it breaks my heart to say this, but you are funnier than a YouTuber. Quiz time! I asked people on Twitch to fill in the blank. A group of Americans is called a blank. And the top four answers in this round were a weight problem, a disappointment, a mistake, or a cholesterol. Which one of these got the most votes? 
Yeah, it was a cholesterol of Americans and it wasn't even close, a total blowout. Hey, how are you doing? Have you gotten any right yet? Well, the next question is the last one, so don't muck it up. In just four words, describe your first kiss. I said thank you. Here's your 20 bucks. Mom, can we record? Kissed hard. She popped. Not happened, me virgin. She brought mouth condoms? <laughs> Kids bopify these troubling lyrics from the hit song Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. I'm that bad type, make your mama sad type, make your girlfriend mad tight, might seduce your dad type. I'm that cool kid, eat all of my gruel kid, doesn't break the rules kid, always stays in school kid. I'm that cool type, working hard in school type, obeying all the rules type, not hitting the jewel type. I'm that good kid, never being rude kid, eating all my food kid, kids bop lifts, kids bop lifts my mood kid. I'm that good type, mama tucks me in tight, then she tells me night night, leaves and turns <laughs> off the lights. <laughs> the lights. I'm that cool kid, clean my mama's pool kid, win that Fortnite duel kid, pass my dad the tools kid. Wait, what? This one makes no sense now. Hang on. God's disciple, open up my Bible, prayer so insightful, sinners they just spiteful. What? Is that part of the, is that supposed to sound like a part of the song? Open up my Bible, prayer oh. so insightful, sinners they just spiteful. Me no music, man, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that swag type, run and play some tag type, love to game for brag rights, stomach ache from Can't Sprite. That's right, kids always get those, <laughs> those Sprite stomach aches. I'm the best type, stay home for the class type, learning how to fast type, quarantine is mad tired. Let Erin do it. She did more for this channel. No, Me? stop, stop, stop. Yesterday, somebody that you've never heard of you ever used that one before? asked you, but it's the truth. I'm a truth teller, that's what I do. To fill in the blanks. Damn, girl, you blank. No, no, no. Bye, Blake? What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boy, are you 2019? Cause you looking real good right now. You like Daniel with those sneakers though. <laughs> Damn, girl. Are you a 1950s cartoon character? Cause you- <laughs> Dang, boy, are you- <laughs> Dang, boy. Are you an Avatar character? Because nobody remembers your name. <laughs> Going off script. Damn, girl. Are you the Cats movie? Because you look hideous. <laughs> Damn, girl. Are you a microwave? Because I want to put a kid inside of you. Aaron, that's awful. Ew. Remember when dead baby jokes were a thing? <laughs> oh my god, remember that. <laughs> Can I have a dog for this one? Damn, girl, are you, uh, um, did you, um, because, uh, fuck. Damn, girl, are you deaf? Because you keep ignoring me. Mm. Damn, girl, are you a girl? Because that's pretty epic. <laughs> Damn, girl, are you a tadpole? Because you got weird little legs. Damn, girl, are you not real? Because I'm insane. Damn, girl, are you interested in me? Please? Damn, boy, are you a bra? Because you make me uncomfortable. Damn, boy, are you doing all right? Because despite gender stereotypes, boys sometimes need to be checked up on too. How are you doing? Damn, boy, are you Yai 500? Because you sure do have a lot of questions and I've been recording now for like 30 minutes, so I feel that. Damn, girl, are you my neighbor? Because if so, I am legally obligated to inform you that I have moved into the neighborhood and I am in fact a sex offender. What does OMG actually stand for? OMG actually stands for Ouch, Misa Groin. Obese Minecraft gamers. Mm -hmm. Outsourced my grandma. Obama meets Garfield. Objectify my girlfriend. Orgasm, Mahatma Gandhi. Ma, oh, fuck. Oops. More genocide. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Only mother grieves. That one's dark, Jack. It is, right? It's very dark. You picked dark. that, though. Of course. I believe this is the final question. Listen, Jack, I've cleared my schedule, so I want this to be like an extreme round. I didn't even break out the picklebacks yet. 
Oh, Jesus. Whoa, who said picklebacks? Uh, Nerd City, you're going to kick us off with the last question, which is clickbait the following sentence. I went for a walk today. Let's play. Coronavirus, any percentage speed run, refer a friend. I tested God today. <laughs> <laughs> Walking in Chernobyl? Story time. I am legend challenge. A man took a 20 minute walk outside. Here's what happened to his organs. I still have Pokemon Go. Oh, why don't you brag about it, dude? Human obstacle course, hashtag danger zone. And that's it. Finish your drinks, oh lads. My God. <laughs> oh, fuck me. A cheers, boys. Cheers. Will you tell Colossal I, I like him? Yeah, me too. Eric and Brock say they have a crush on you. <laughs> no, that's not what we said. Eric and Brock said they like you, like you. Wow, that's no, embarrassing. We said one like. So, boys, any final thoughts about uh, that terrible drinking game we just played? Oh, there were some good answers there, but there were some bad answers there. Yeah, Jack, you need funnier fans. <laughs> Quiz time. Here is your last question. What is the worst thing to say at a wedding? In no order, here were the top four answers. I now pronounce you cousin in cousin. Didn't she wear that at her last wedding? You may now vibe check the bride or divorce speed run. Now this is your final chance to redeem yourself. Which one of these got the most votes? Think about it. Okay, the correct answer is didn't she wear that at her last wedding? And quite frankly, I'm furious that the cousin one didn't win. So how'd you do? Did you get any of them right? Did you get them all right? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to play along with us next time on Twitch. It's a lot more fun live. And finally, the last thing I should do for Yai 500 is give you the raw footage of a Yai and let you make a Yai out of it. So you may have noticed that some of this video was green screened and there's a very good reason for that. See, I've always wanted to film a regular Yai episode, but then give you guys all of the raw, unedited footage just to see how you'd mess it up. So for portions of this video, I filmed myself in front of a green screen. Yes, <clears throat> yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. <clears throat> and then along with some helpful assets, I gave it all to you guys. So let's see what you all came up with, shall we? Let's kick things off with a submission by Meow Yozy. I know I nailed that. Roll it. Nice. All right. Yesterday, I asked you, what should I do for the 500th episode? God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, girls, but daddy needs me. <laughs> that's what I call pretty epic. Oh, <laughs> uh, no way. <laughs> Not the direction I expected that to take. Oh, my God. Oh, wowzers. Mwah, 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 million kisses. I thought it was just going to be one of these memes for the whole video. Next. Next up, we got a spicy submission from Q Sauce Guy. Let's see if it's saucy. It's called Jack's Bizarre Dreamland. I'm a touch scared. Yesterday, I asked you, what should I do for this, the 500th uh -huh. episode of Yummy? Ooh! <laughs> Yummy! That's incredible. Oh. Oh, that's just sleek. That was a delight to watch. Everything was beautifully in sync. You don't need me to tell you that, you know. For some reason, I'm purple sometimes. Why not? Very saucy, Q. McCreambus, you said too much time was wasted on this. Ah, time enjoyed is never time wasted. Although, I, I, I don't know if you enjoyed making this or not. Gimme. Apologize, apologize, apologize 500 times. Uh, apologize. Nice. Apologize. Yes. Apologize Three, two, 500 eight, times. Uh, apologize. Oh. Apologize. apologize 500 times. Uh, apologize. Uh, apologize. Uh, apologize. Uh, apologize. I should never give you guys a green screen ever again. 500 times. Uh, apologize 500 times. Uh, <laughs> perfect ending to a nearly perfect video. Oh my god, Fish and Skips is back. Your work has been featured before on Yai. I haven't watched this one yet. We're going in raw. Now back to things I should do for Yai 500. Pull an old yeller on dogs. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Daddy needs views. <laughs> no. 
I'd rather die. Hi, Sunday. Do you have to walk in? You turned an outtake slash blooper into part of the shtick. That is narratively genius and a very Looney Tunes-esque ending. I love it. Can we talk about this part? This part was incredible. So, so evil. I really feel like I'm in hell. Great work as always. Fish and ski ups. The real Soli G. You have been featured in numerous CIs. It's wonderful to see you back for 500. I can only imagine what you're about to do with your automatones. Let the real Soli G host it, or at least- Whoa! What? Let the real Soli G host it. That alone is impressive. Ugh. <laughs> How? No. <laughs> yes. Let's analyze this. You had to recreate the candlesticks, my little Oscar, and the me- What the hell? Real Soli G, please don't forget about me when you surpass me in subs in a French accent. My dearest John, I present to you my masterpiece. That's- I, that was Borat. Alright Josh, show me what you're working with. Yesterday, I asked you, <laughs> what should I do for the 500th episode hey. of Yai? Here are all 500 of your answers. <laughs> Apologize, apologize. Hey, times. I know that guy. Let Aaron out. She's been begging to leave. <laughs> Nothing, Jack. This is not a milestone. It's a number of videos. Get your head. Oh, out of the look clouds. at that. Hi, Dad. Yes. People ten dollars to watch it. Nice. I oh. about it, pull an old yeller on dogs. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. girls, but daddy needs views. Let Erin do it. She did more for this channel. No. <laughs> give you the raw footage of a yai. That's how I hear her. And let you make a yai out of it. <laughs> yesterday. 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 <laughs> uh, what the what the fuck was that <laughs> so you already showed us that you could edit just so you could make the the youtube poop yeah this was amazing i love that <laughs> oh this with the little camera shake i love that all right this video is getting me aroused i need to stop kayoya an old favorite after a long stream of editing it's finally done buckle up yeah, 500, but Kyoya cursed it. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> I asked you, what should I do for this? The 500 episode Hello. of Yai. Uh, Watch out for that car. No. <laughs> nude Yai. Nude Yai. Nude Yai. Nude Yai. Nude Yai. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it took me a few takes to uh, rip the shirt. Nude yai, nude yai. Pleasure. Take 500 shots whilst reading yai answers. You think I do this shit sober? <laughs> hey! Hey, that kind of looks like uh, the real video. That's for the uh, YouTube Originals logo to pop up, do a Netflix style transition. Do you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you had to. I always edit those out. Thanks for leaving it in. Thank you. Just give you the raw footage of a yai. And let Aaron do it. She did no. more for this channel. No, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Once more. <laughs> Perfect. Kayoya, that was wonderfully cursed. Thank you. Never again. Baglets, you said here's the Yai 500 intro, but animated by me? This was not the assignment, but I'm going to watch it nonetheless. Okay. And we are. Oh, rolling. Oh my god. Nice. All right. <clears throat> Yesterday, I asked you, what should I do wow. for the 500th episode of Yai? Here are all 500 of your answers. Wow! I love the camera autofocus, like, failing every now and then. That's such a clever touch. Oh. <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Baglets, I'm now a fan. Our next submission is from a YouTuber named Thomas Clinton. Thomas, I expect great things from you. Don't disappoint me, son. Apologize Very nice. 500 times. Ah. No. Ooh. Nothing. Ah. I'm so jealous that you know how to do that. Hi, Dad. 
Hello, son. <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> no, stop, stop, stop. Oh, cool. Big head mode. Oh, genius. And let you make a yai out of it. Oh, wow. It's not <laughs> like I did that at all. <laughs> And he sticks the landing. I love when my viewers are better editors than I'll ever be. It's it's so sick. Here's a nice little edit from YouTuber Tim Corral. Yesterday. Yesterday. <clears throat> yesterday. Damn you. <laughs> are your yayiest answers. There I go. I think I do the shit sober. <laughs> oh, very cool. Nothing. Oh, that was good. Here's one from YouTuber Bucket, which already has 13,000 views. Woo. Yesterday, I asked you... Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. Nice. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I have a question for you guys. Do you want to die? Precisely personal. Bucket, that was lovely. We have a tweet from Joe Campbell saying, Anybody remember that time Jack guested on Red Letter Media and then a YouTube link? You know I'm the biggest fan of Red Letter Media. Did you make my dream come true? Oh my god. So then we watched Bloods vs. Yes. Wolves. <laughs> hey! Uh, is this, this is you, right? No. Go for it, Jack. <laughs> he even says go for it, Jack. Come on. This is really well done. Well, one thing I'd like to do is a terrible quiz show. It, it could have been a fun idea, yeah. Buckle up. Thanks, Jay. I don't know if I'd like that. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I see what you were trying to do. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> I did it. I finally guest starred on Red Letter Media. This was so well done. It's like I'm there. <laughs> Joe, how do you have only one subscriber? That's a crime. Now you have two subscribers. Rainstorm made an account just to post their submission. Was it worth it though? Charge people $500 to watch it. Oh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a John Cena mask, by the way? I hope it is. Really want to believe. And way to make me say charge people five hundred dollars. That's that was that was great. Jamie voiceover says, "I really hope this is what you're looking for from viewers." All right, Jamie, he's up. Apologize. Ooh. Apologize. Apologize five hundred times. Ah. Let Aaron do it. She did more for this channel. No, Me. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I remember reading this article actually. Yeah, yeah. Here's one from the Panda Punch Gamer. Yeah, I 500, but it's DiGiorno's theme. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, how about Yai, but if it were a 90s sitcom from Rye Thompson 2000? Nick at Night, love it. <laughs> Yesterday, I asked you, what should I do oh, for the this, last track. the 500th episode <laughs> Apologize, apologize, apologize 500 times. Ah. No. Sitcoms do be like that, though. Good guy. Good guy. Pull an old yeller on dogs. <laughs> Take f dad. <laughs> the laugh track is such an attack. Thank you for reminding me why I can't watch anything with a laugh track. Gordon, you threw together this absolute monstrosity in a few hours. Let's see what a few hours of work looks like. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, 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 oh wow. Daddy. I don't know if I like that. I liked that. Good on you, Gordon. This one from Lord Fudd just says, you people are disgusting. I'm intrigued. Nice. Perfect. Way to subvert expectations. This submission from Not Blue Bear simply says, sorry in advance. Rut row. Oh, <laughs> rolling. <laughs> <laughs> the Vietnam flashback. Mwah. Perfect. You are not forgiven. Here's one from Oreo on film. You call this an accurate representation of Yai Live. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Dude, filming sucks. <clears throat> I hate filming so much. Yes. <clears throat> Yester yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. 
<laughs> hey, screw you, dude. Great setup, even better punchline. Here's a very impressive one from Max on YouTube called Making a Song from Yai 500. Apologize, apologize, apologize. Nice. Times, huh? Here are your yaiest answers. Pull an old yeller on dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull an old yeller on dogs. I was hoping you'd ask me that. I would like to share with you the top 10 best guy answers of all time. <laughs> 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 what? Oh my god! This is incredible! Did you write this song? Not funny. Didn't laugh. I laughed. I laughed quite a lot. Yum yum. You broke the power level reader. And this part was inspired, man. I remember when my wife tweeted this. This one is from YouTuber MJ9. It's called the Yai 500 Edited Rap. Yesterday, I asked you, what should I do for this, the 500th episode of Yai? Three, two, nice. Go. Apologize. This is not a milestone. Apologize. Oh. Not funny videos. Apologize 500 times. Uh. Oh, man. One more time. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get your head out of the clouds. 500 miles whilst reading Yai answers. You think I do this shit sober? A drinking game! What a marvel idea! Oh. Charge! Let Erin do it! She's been begging for <laughs> it! Hi, Sunday. Do you have to walk in right now? Okay. Have fun. Oh my Sex god. the dogs. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Now where did that come from? Memes and edits aside, I just loved that backing track. That was beautiful. I'm gonna cry right now. Everyone subscribe to MJ9. I just did. Our final submission is from Special Mayro. And I think you had the most clever idea and you had a brilliant execution for it as well. Yai 500, but it's a Super Mario Maker Let's Play. Let's check this out. Okay. Epic. Love noise. <laughs> Yuck. All right. Uh... <laughs> First one. Oh, I don't know if I like that. <clears throat> one of those will work. Or so not. clever. Uh, Come on, dude. What should I do for this? Can you can you turn it? I'd rather die. Do you have to walk in right now? And finally. Yeah. Uh, and finally. God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> Taking all of my weird pauses and outtakes and having them make sense in the narrative of a let's play, pro gamer move to the max. Like when I'm looking down, it just, it fits so well. Epic. And that sarcastic little outtake just fits this beautifully. This was a great idea done perfectly. Well done, special Mayro. And to everyone who submitted an edit, I can't tell you how much fun this was to watch how you guys cooked up this footage. Before I give you guys the question for the next guy, and you're gonna wanna see it, it's real cute. I wanna share with you some things that I'm actually kind of excited about. Namely, the Yai Watch. I'm so happy about this because I've wanted a watch for so long. It has the Yai logo engraved on the back and on the buckle. Now, I'm wearing the prototype, but yours is gonna look a lot better. For starters, the final background will be white because it makes it easier to read and the colors pop out more. Second, yours will have a silver chrome finish that's gonna look real profesh. Here, imagine this as of yet unreleased Klondike watch, but with the Yai logo instead. That's what the watch is gonna look like, essentially. Pretty nice. The watch is only available for the next 10 days. This is a pre-sale item, and orders are expected to ship by July. In other news, we updated the Yai shirt, so it now includes all 500 episodes of Yai, including the one you just watched. And we have a special offer. If you get the Yai watch, you also get 10% off the Yai 500 shirt. You can grab both by clicking the link in the description below. Oh, I have a question for you. What should we name our new puppy? Quarantine hurts everyone. And in our case, um, it made us lose our minds and get a third dog. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. What should we name her? We've just been calling her Dum Dum and don't eat that. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Huh, you made it to the end. Or maybe it cheated. Who cares? Click here to see the previous episode. Oh, here's a clip. What does simp 
actually stand for? Sexy incest minion porn. Super into minion porn. Shrek is my president. <laughs> she is my princess. Sports Illustrated magazine, please. Stop it, mom. Please. 